Hello everyone and welcome to the fifth part of this series on automation with STAT. I am Surajit Ghosh and in this session, I will focus on analysis and post analysis result extraction from STAT, how we can analyze multiple STAT models sequentially and get a summary of analysis status, extract analysis and design result including design parameter set of any member or plate element present in the model. This data can be utilized for component design or report generation. In the last part, we covered few custom tools using which we can extract model data including geometry and load information from any STAT file. We can use this extracted model data in other applications which are not directly linked with STAT. Even we can utilize this data to generate custom drawings. You can check part 4 of this series for more details. STAT is good for analysis. We can model any type of structure with different material, apply load and analyze. After analysis, we can reuse analysis result in the integrated module for design. Like we can design concrete foundation in foundation design module, design concrete element in advanced concrete design module or steel connection in connection design module. These modules import all required structure and analysis data from STAT. We don't need to provide those data once again. But if we use any in-house or third-party application for member, connection or foundation design, we need to provide analysis result as an input along with other model information. We can easily copy paste required data from STAD post-processing table, though there is a high chance of human error. Also, it is time consuming if the number of repetition is more. Another factor that increase the data extraction time is sorting of data. We need to filter and remove unwanted data by providing member, node or load case number in the result setup page. This window is not user friendly and we need to enter all information manually. With an automated approach, we can eliminate this. Either use a tool to extract required data from STAT like member enforce for connection design and feed it in the application or directly link that in-house application with STAT. There is one prerequisite. Before we use any result for design, we need to ensure that analysis is over and the model is error free. If there is any modeling error, like instability or missing property, obviously we cannot use analysis result for member or foundation design. That's why it is recommended to review the model and result to check if the structure is stable and ready for design. So we perform an initial analysis, check analysis window and output file for error, review the results. If there is any problem like instability or unrealistic result, we need to fix that, then proceed for design with modified result. When we use a custom tool to automate an entire structural analysis from model generation to design or perform optimization, STAT models are created or updated multiple times during this process. That modified model is used for analysis and design, hence pre-design checks are required to ensure that the model is okay. We can easily achieve this, perform silent or hidden analysis with OpenStat function analyze x. Basically analysis is performed in the background without any manual input, then checks are performed. Consider this tool which can perform sequential analysis of multiple STAT model. We can browse and select multiple STAT file, say these three. Analyze all these models one by one. During analysis, available computer resources are used. Hence, if we run multiple analysis, it will slow down the overall process. To avoid this, we have performed sequential analysis where one model is analyzed at a time. Once analysis is over, second model is considered. This reduces overall analysis time. Further, we can extract analysis status of each model. If result is available for design or number of error and warning. From this table, 
we can get a preliminary idea whether the model is ready for design or not. If there is any error, we need to review the output file and correct it. Say this model. Two errors are reported for this file, which we can check from the output. It is related to support assignment. Supports are not assigned properly in this model. We can modify the structure, analyze and check if there is any error, then proceed for result extraction. Using this type of automation tool, we can analyze multiple models one by one, extract required data from each model, even utilize off-work hours to analyze and compare multiple models. Before leaving the office, we can start the analysis and next day we have a dataset with analysis result which we can compare. We can extract almost every data from STAT. There are multiple OpenStat functions available in the library which can be used for result extraction. We can extract base pressure or nodal displacement value intermediate or member end force value, which is commonly used for member or connection design. In this model, I want to design end connections of few raptor member. So we need member end force of each raptor. For all load combination case defined in this model. To extract member force from any stat file, I have developed this tool. Here we need to provide few inputs which are required to filter and extract required enforce value like selected load case for selected member only. We have already selected the members in STAD model which we can utilize for result extraction. Also we can specify the member number or use a member group. I want to design these connections as combined connection considering both CR and moment ignoring torsional moment. Finally, select the section type as member end force. In a single click, all these filtered end force values are now extracted in this Excel sheet. We can copy this data and use it in other application. Also, we can link this code with any in-house application so that extracted end forces are directly considered during connection design, similar to integrated connection design module of STAD. We can also use this tool to extract intermediate results which are required for member design. To perform member design with custom section or material like design of aluminum member, we need enforces along with force at intermediate section. We can select this option, provide number of divisions. In general, we consider 12 internal divisions. This time we'll consider all force components. With this, for same selected members for all load combination, intermediate forces are extracted from the STAD model, which we can use for member design. Similarly, we can extract support reaction forces, which are required for foundation or base plate design. I have developed this tool to extract support information and reaction force value from any STAD model. We need to provide few data. I'll use all load combination case for selected support node or all supported node. I want to extract all force component to design the foundation based on axial, shear and biaxial moment. With these inputs, we can extract all reaction force values within few seconds. As you can notice, for all combination case, reaction forces are extracted. This can be further used for foundation or base plate design. Even we can get an idea of foundations which are under uplift and not in contact with soil. If we model a raft foundation instead with plate mesh and assign compression only soil spring support, it is possible to extract loss of contact area due to lateral forces. We can further extract maximum and minimum force value like max mean bending moment value and location or member displacement. These are important for crane gutter design. Also extract plate or solid stress result. Get resultant force of multiple plates along a line. This resolved force along a line is useful for design of plate elements using FEA results. 
If you need any information about this, let me know. If we perform dynamic analysis like response spectra or time history analysis, we can extract few information like frequency, mode shapes or time history response, though the number of available function is limited. Apart from analysis data, we can also extract information about design parameter and design result, even assign design parameter to members. I'll cover design parameter assignment later in the optimization video. Today, we'll cover how easily we can get design parameter information and design result from any STAD model. By the way, assignment of design parameter or result extraction is limited to steel design. It is not supported for concrete member. In this model, multiple design parameters are assigned along with different ratio value and optimization comment. My intention is to optimize the sections with select comment. Program performs iterative member design to find an optimum section for that member with ratio close to 1. In the geometry page, different tables are available with node or member detail. We can check or modify any value from here, even select the entity in UI. Similar table is not available for design parameter. Only a tree view is available with assigned member list. Using this window, it is not possible to get an idea which parameters are assigned to a member or value of any parameter used for that member design. We need to select each parameter to find out if it is assigned to a specific member if we want to check if STP parameter is assigned to this member, there is no direct way and we need to click each STP parameter in the list to find out this information. This is time consuming. It would have been better if a design parameter table is available like node or beam table from where we can check and modify any design parameter. To minimize this effort, I have developed a tool using which we can extract design parameter list from any block in tabular format. Few inputs are required like design brief number, say block 1, for these selected members only. Now value of each design parameter used for design are extracted in this table. Assigned design parameters are highlighted in red and default values are mentioned in black. For few members, STP2 parameter is assigned to define that member as built-up section. Track2 is assigned for detailed design output. Slenderness check is bypassed for this member. Deflection check is performed with limiting value 180. From this table, we can get a clear idea of different design parameter and easily track which values are modified during parameter assignment. We can also generate this table in UI using table generation functions of OpenStat module. Not only this, we can also generate any custom table in STAD UI with OpenStat, access it anytime from user tools dropdown. These are simple tables. Formatting the table like Excel is not possible. Also, we can extract steel design result using OpenStat function. Previously, it was limited to critical design ratio only, but in recent version, multiple OpenStat functions are included in the library using which we can extract detailed design result, ratio, critical clause and load case, location, few property values. Even we can extract design results from multiple design blocks. Currently, this is limited to AISC 360 code only. For other design code, Design results are extracted from last design block. In this model, I have designed few Raptor, Parlin and Column members using IS800-2007 code. Both strength and serviceability checks are performed during design and I want to extract design result of these members. There are three design blocks. First two are used for member selection and final one for design. Result from first two blocks are not relevant as those are intermediate results during section selection and we will extract result from the final block only, which is also the default option for IS code. Using this custom tool developed with VBA, 
Selection of member depends on our requirement. We can use all member or all still member, member group or list. I have already selected few members in UI, hence use this option. There are few additional options like we can print the critical design force. With this, within few seconds, detail member design results for all these members are now extracted from the stat model only for those members which are designed. Design section, status, ratio, all are extracted and we can review this table to get an idea about section utilization. Also, we can include this table in the project report along with other information. I'll cover this later. If member design is performed following AISC 36016 code with multiple design blocks, we can extract ratio from all design blocks, then filter or sort the values as per requirement, get most critical ratio comparing results from different design blocks. This feature is available only for AIC code. There are so many other examples. If we perform buckling analysis, we can even extract buckling factor and displacement at node using OpenStat function. You can explore the OpenStat library to get an idea about all available operations. Next, I want to cover few case studies. How we can use multiple OpenStat functions to automate a complex process which takes lot of time and effort. I'll start with a tool that I have developed for result comparison of modular structure. Keep watching.